Hello and welcome back to Top 10 Places. Ireland is known for its rich history, stunning landscapes, and friendly local populace. Of course, there are a few popular destinations that tourists always find themselves visiting, like Dublin, Belfast, and Galway, but there's more to this incredible island than these few places. In today's video, we're diving into some of the most incredible hidden gems that Ireland has to offer. From moss-covered islands hiding ancient castles in their midst, to sweeping mountain landscapes right on the Irish coast, there's so much of this wonderful land to explore. But before we dive right into the video, consider leaving us a like and subscribing to the channel. It's your support that helps us make the best content possible. And if you never want to miss another Top 10 Places upload, be sure to ring the bell icon down below. Now let's get into the video. Number 10. Bull Rock, Cork If you've done any kind of research into Ireland, then you've likely heard of Dursey Island in Cork. For the uninitiated, Dursey Island is a small little isle that can only be accessed via cable car, and it's a beautiful place filled with incredible sights and sounds to soak in. However, there's more to Cork than meets the eye. Just off the southwestern tip of the magnificent Beara Peninsula is Dursey Island, located in West Cork. Off the island's western point stands three rocks, Calf Rock, Cow Rock, and Bull Rock. But Bull Rock is perhaps the island's most mighty natural stone formation. It looks like something pulled straight from a pirate movie. The rock features some fascinating stone shapes that are formed thanks to years of wind and water erosion, giving the area a jagged, sharp look worthy of its name. At the base of the island is a hollow alcove through which boats are able to travel, while the top of the island houses an old lighthouse that's still standing to this day. Number 9. The Caves of Kirsch, Sligo Interestingly, many of the most exciting and historically rich hidden gems to be seen in Ireland can be found on the country's west coast, like the Caves of Kirsch in County Sligo. The incredible caves at this location form an ancient passage tomb cluster that is so old it's believed to predate the pyramids of Egypt by a whopping five to eight hundred years. In the 20th century, geological inspections of the caves of Kirsch were conducted, revealing that early humans used to call this place their home. Other evidence has shown that wolves, bears, arctic lemming, and other wildlife have lived in the caves in the past. With a total of 17 caves, there's a lot to see here, and a lot of history to uncover for yourself. Of course, if you're not really a history fan, the caves do make for some incredible photo opportunities, and some of the higher caves offer great viewpoints of the sweeping landscape below. Number 8. The Serpent's Lair, Galway While it's most commonly known as the Serpent's Lair or the Wormhole, the true name of this incredible place is Polnabesht. It's one of the most fascinating geological formations on the planet, and you won't find another one like it anywhere in the world. It was formed by centuries of wind and water erosion, even though its bizarre geometric shape makes it look as though man has something to do with its creation. The Serpent's Lair is a kind of natural pool found in Innes Moor, the largest of the three Aran Islands off the coast of Galway. It also features a number of underground channels that connect to the surrounding ocean. And when the tide is coming in, water rushes into the pool via an underground cave, forcing water over the edges to fill the hole from above. If the serpent's lair looks familiar to you, then you may be remembering it as featured on some of the videos from the Red Bull Diving series that took place in 2017. Innismore was the first stop in the 2017 Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series, in which divers gracefully hopped into a swelling and sinking wormhole. We probably don't have to tell you that swimming in the serpent's lair is strongly not advised. Don't click away yet. Our number one spot is coming up soon. Number seven, Dermot's Castle, Roscommon. If there's one thing you'll find plenty of all throughout Ireland, it's ancient castles. One of the more unique Irish castles can be found in Roscommon, on the stunning Loch Quay, just a short distance away from the quaint town of Boyle. It was built smack dab in the center of the Green Island, right in the middle of a lake. A convenient location, perhaps? We're not entirely sure. While McDermott's Castle certainly receives far less attention than some of the other castles in Ireland, like Blarney, it is still well worth visiting. Maybe even more so than those other castles. 
Stretching around 10 kilometers across and forming a satisfying circular shape, Loch Key contains more than 30 islands scattered throughout its borderline frigid waters. One of the islands was aptly named Castle Island, because it's here that you'll find the ruins of the once great McDermott's Castle. Local legend tells the story of a girl named Una, the daughter of the Chief McDermott, who fell in love with a lower-class man. Una's father naturally refused to let her leave the island, in the hopes that it would deter her from the relationship. In secret, Una's lover began swimming across Loch Key to reach the castle. Though during one of these excursions, tragedy struck and the boy drowned. It's said that Una was so grief-stricken that she died, and her and her partner have remained buried beneath two intertwined trees on the island ever since. Number 6. The Krogan Cliffs, Mayo Many people mistake the Sleeve League Cliffs of Donegal to be Ireland's tallest cliffs, when in reality, they are the tallest cliffs on the island of Ireland. Confusing nomenclature we know. The true highest cliffs in Ireland are those found at Krogan, on Achill Island in Mayo, where they stand a whopping 2,257 feet above the ground. Watch your step. You'll find them tucked away at the western end of Achill Island, on the northern side of the towering Kragwan Mountains near Keem Bay. In addition to being the highest cliffs in Ireland, they also happen to be the third tallest cliffs in all of Europe, an impressive record that far too few people seem to know about. If you're planning to hike the Kragwan Cliffs, be warned, you're going to need a good level of fitness to succeed, as the hike is quite steep on the way up. But once you've reached level, even ground, things become much easier and you'll be able to enjoy the beautiful vistas offered by such a tall vantage point. Just watch out for rapidly changing weather conditions. Enjoying the video? Leave us a like and subscribe to the channel for more! Number 5. Dune Fort Donegal The beautifully unique Dune Fort in Donegal is a western stone fort found right in the centre of Locker Dune, near Port New and Nairn. The fort has ties with two different families, the O'Boyles and the Breslins. It's said that the Breslin family occupied the fort from the 5th century, while the O'Boyles held it until the fort basically collapsed. While Dune Fort is on a private island, during the peak of the summer season, the family that currently owns it rents out small boats to those who wish to visit the historic fort. It's considered a western stone fort, at least by UNESCO, thanks to its exceptionally thick and high enclosing walls. Forts like this one were used less for defending the surrounding land and more as royal residences and status symbols. Sadly, its walls encompass most of what's left of Dune Fort. If you're given permission to visit the island, you won't be able to roam through any dark historic hallways or peek inside ancient armories. Number 4. Largy Waterfall, Donegal Though it's not exactly a hidden gem, there's still no place like Largy Waterfall anywhere else in the world. But while the secret waterfall of Donegal certainly looks like a still taken from a Jurassic Park movie, the most important skill you'll need when visiting this location is how to read tides. If you get stuck here when the tide comes in, there's no way out, and we mean that. But dark details aside, you'll find this exquisite gem of a place on the Sleeve League Peninsula in Donegal. The waterfall can be found in Largy, hence the name. Largy is a village nestled between the town of Kilcar and Kilibex, and is a pretty little place that's just as worth visiting as the waterfall itself. The route along the coast that takes you to Largy Waterfall is notoriously slippy, which is another reason why you'll want to understand tide times. But if you manage to get to the waterfall unscathed and can plan your visit around the tides, you'll be in for one of the most otherworldly, breathtaking scenes the world has to offer. It's almost time for our number one spot, stay tuned! Number 3. Leap Castle, County Offaly Leap Castle is infamous for being the most haunted castle in Ireland, and you'll find it north of Ross Crare in a town called Coolderry. The exact period of time that the castle has been standing there for is entirely up for debate which adds to the overall mystery of the location. Some say that Leap Castle was built in the 12th century, while others claim it came around much later, in the 15th century. Regardless, it is said to be one of the longest continually inhabited castles in all of Ireland, and it boasts a rich, albeit disturbing history. There are several bloody tales that come attached to Leap Castle. The first is of the Red Lady, 
A malevolent spirit said to roam the halls of the castle, holding the dagger that took her life. The second has to do with one of the castle's main features, called an oubliette. It's a hidden chamber within the castle where hundreds of people were sent and left to die. The third and final tale for this video is the story of the Bloody Chapel. This is the place where one of the O'Carrolls murdered his brother during mass, and his ghost is said to still lurk amongst the shadows. Number 2. Gugan Barra, Cork There are just some places in Ireland that exceed all of your expectations. Sure, you may have seen some pictures or videos beforehand while you were planning your trip, and you've built up a decent image of what the experience could be like in your head, but sometimes it just doesn't prepare you for the real thing. That's the case with Gugan Barra in Cork. The sounds, sights, and smells that will completely envelop you when you visit this stunning location will stop you dead in your tracks. It's places like these that make Ireland so special. The large lake and valley at Guganbara are surrounded by the rugged rock face of the mountains, which soar above at an impressive 370 meters. It's a sight, a smell, a sound, a sensation to behold, and we guarantee that you won't find any place quite like it on the planet. Number 1. The Knockmealdown Mountains, Tipperary. The Knockmealdown Mountains, say Knockmealdown five times fast, border the Waterford and Tipperary counties. And while they're certainly a brilliant stop to add to your Irish itinerary, there's something special that makes them unique. Every year between the months of May and June, certain sections of the mountain become covered, covered in an incredibly beautiful blanket of purple and pink rhododendrons. There are several trails within the Knockmealdown Mountains, many of which are up there with some of the best hikes the country has to offer. So if you're a fan of hiking and of pretty fields of flowers, then the Knock Meal Down Mountains are your perfect destination. Just be sure to bring your allergy medication if you have pollen sensitivity, or you'll be doing a lot of sneezing. And that's all folks, thank you so much for watching. As usual, it's now time for a bonus fun fact. Did you know that we actually have Ireland to thank for the holiday of Halloween? The basis for the spooky tradition dates back more than two millennia to the Celtic festival of Samhain, in which the ancient Irish celebrated the day the dead would walk the earth for one day a year. Which of these incredible Irish locations would you want to visit? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, consider hitting the thumbs up button down below and subscribing to the channel. And to stay updated with all our uploads, ring the bell icon. Until next time, bye-bye.